What's up guys? In this segment, don't at me. I asked you guys to give me your unpopular opinions, hot takes, and difficult questions. And I don't really think it needs much more of an intro. Once you guys see what this video is about, I'm sure more of you will want to get involved with this. I think this will be fun, so let's get it going. Scorchers are a top five team this year. Got the league on notice. Um, I don't doubt it, man, honestly. Scorchers always have a really good roster, a lot of capable scorers. Being on that team, obviously I've got a lot of love for the franchise, I want to see the franchise do well. See if they can pull something together this season, because they're always a, they're always a team that so you can rely on them for an upset. They always beat someone, but they always beat someone they shouldn't every year. Maybe this is the year this year where they start to, start to be more consistent, I would love to see it. I think Creon and the franchise deserves it, they've got a great fan base. They put in a lot of work to interact with the fans, to, to bring a lot, of, a lot of character to the BBL. Top 5 though? On paper? Yeah. But we got to see how things turn out on the floor. It's too early for me to even say. I haven't even seen any of the other teams play. I'll be watching the BBL this season, so call me a Scorchers fan. What do you value more? Past experiences or materialistic things? Love, love fades away, but things, things are forever. I mean, past experiences, for sure. Materialistic things are cool, but you lose materialistic things, you lose interest in materialistic things. Past experiences hold value for a much longer time, even if you don't necessarily see it as a positive thing could still learn from it and that would benefit you years and years and years into the future. You might even have a past experience that you thought of one way and then you reflect on it a few years later when you're older and wiser and you see it from a different perspective and now you learn something else. So definitely past experiences man, for sure, for sure. Kyrie can be the best point guard in the league when healthy. Mm, this, this, this one's not for me. I like Kyrie a lot, extremely talented point guard, talented scorer. I think there comes a lot more with being a point guard than just putting points on the board. It's a pretty, it's a pretty point guard do dominated league at the moment. Having the best players being the ones with the ball in their hands all the time. But uh, you know, matter of fact is, if you ain't getting your team involved and your team isn't winning, and it's just you scoring the ball. I don't know. I can't really put you in. Uh, for me personally, I can't really put you in that conversation. Or it's at least harder. It's at least harder for you to be my number one. Hugs are ugly, not cute. Hi, doggy. I don't love small dogs. I'm indifferent. I don't own, own a dog. I would never own a dog personally, not just because I travel, just because it's like a baby. But um, I think pugs are kind of cute, man. I don't know. Like a face only a mother could love type of thing. Like if it's your pug, you're like, yeah, that's my ugly mother. <laughs> That's my boy. I'd much rather, if, if I was gonna get a small dog like that, I think I'd much rather like a French bulldog though. So, I don't entirely disagree with you. Travis Scott is truly not good. Like a I'm a big Travis Scott fan. I have been since Alf era, before McDonald's, before he was Fortnite man, before all of that. I don't make me cooler than anyone else. He has a special place in my heart. I'm sure everybody has an artist that they've watched sort of like come from the bottom to where they are now. And it's, it's flipping amazing to see Travis at the at the level he's at now. I don't think you can say he's not good at all, man. I think if you don't think he's any good at all, you're only listening to, or you haven't, you just haven't listened to anything he's done in, in the past. I'll give you 100%. All the singles he's released this year are mid. I would be very, very unhappy if any of those singles, if franchises on Utopia, I will weep. It is what it is that song serves its purposes to make the number one, get MIA a number one. It's not even close to any of his best stuff. Highest in the room, uh, I'd say the Scots is the strongest one out of anything he's released this year. <sighs> to say he's not good at all, that's a terrible take. You have Days Before Rodeo, one of the, that's a top five mixtape, I don't care. Don't at me on that, that's a top five mixtape. Then you have Rodeo, that changed trap. It's like, me and Taryn used to say this when this thing came out. It's like high end, the whole thing sounds like, like trap opera, bro. It's so grand in the sounds. The production, the, the beat, the features. Spurs and the trap sing at night, but for me, I think 
for his solo projects, I think that's his worst album. Uh, not that I don't love it. Astro World, bro. Like, come on. You listen to that thing one, all the way through, and every single song, it all goes into each other seamlessly. I can't listen to Wake Up without my brain scratching me, telling me, all right, you need to go listen to 5% Tint, 5% Tint into NC17. They will fit together so perfectly, and then the atmosphere it creates. I agree with you to the point that he's not the best rapper in the game, but that's never been, I don't think that's, he's ever tried to be. As far as like bar for bar goes, like, He's solid. He can carry a beat. If you haven't heard him on the Keep Wavy remix, like, that just shows, man, the dude can rap, but his selling point, I think his selling point, he's a, he's a good producer. He gets a lot of help, but um, he's a good producer and kind of just knows where to put people. When you have, when you see his albums, there aren't features on there just for the sake of feature sake, which I feel like a lot of artists do. He will throw people on the song that will sound good on the song and compliment the song. Yeah, it's more than just rapping. For me, anyway. It's always the projects, man. It's always the projects. So yeah, can't get on board with that, Chief. At all. How is it to play against my uh, old team? I cover it in a future video. Um, but um, yeah, it was cool, man. I left Moron so abruptly with COVID and all of that. Kind of just screwed it out of there. Didn't get to say goodbye to a lot of people. Old teammates, it's good to see that they're well. Like Alejandro, who um, got hurt really early on in the season, and wasn't that a compound fracture? Um, if you don't know what that is, that's a Kevin Ware. But it was good to see him playing again. My old teammate Shotter also made it down to come see us play. So it's good to see him again and catch up. That's good vibes. LeBron isn't top five of all time. Things that put you off when you're talking to someone. I'm gonna assume you mean on a first date or in the talking stage. But I would just say lack of ambition. If I'm gonna take someone seriously, they need to have ambition. I can't think of the word for this. If I'm on a date or I'm out of a girl and she's not willing to pay for something small, for me, it's usually a little bit of a hint that uh, this is going to be a very one-way relationship. So I tend to stay away from that. Yo no estoy azuka papi. Yeah, I'm not really for that. Ah, yes. Um, being self-absorbed, everything seems to be about their problems and whatever's going on with them. I just stop replying after a while. Like I said, if, if I'm asking you questions, we're just talking about your stuff and then we're done, and then you don't just go. And how about you? You, you lost. I forgot about this one. Why should you be faithful when there's beautiful women everywhere? Hey man, if she's worth it, be faithful in her. That's, uh, that's all I'm gonna say on that. Pineapples belong on pizza. I have to say, I agree with this one. It's not the kind of pizza I order. Bit of a pepperoni. Fiend. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. Sweet and savory always go together. Chicken and waffles. Salt and sweet popcorn. Anybody who says pineapple doesn't belong on pizza, you're being immature. My best memory from the Scorchers. I have so many good memories from this year, man. It is very hard to pick. I might have to do a separate video on this. Okay, on court, my favorite memory was my breakout game against Glasgow. Just because it really made me feel like I belonged there. I had 20 points. You know, I got highlight of the week as well. There's actually far too many, man. I had so many good times with you, Elias, Tony, DP, like, Alex, bro, like, so just clowning around in the in the house, to be honest, man. Just boxing jokes for you guys. I was Reese playing. Okay, so yeah, that kind of wraps it up for me. Keep an eye out on my Instagram uh, for the next time I do this. I enjoyed it, I had a lot of fun. Just shooting the breeze, uh, giving some of my opinions and thoughts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. All really appreciate it, helps me out a ton. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <coughs>